Hey YouTube, it's Mike Pang Gangster here, and today I'm bringing you guys Diablo 4. Should you be preparing or at least looking into like maybe some skill trees, maybe some Paragon? I wouldn't go into too much into uh, going crazy on this website, but I do recommend people that are really are interested in playing Diablo 4 and kind of want to have a bit of a uh, early access to what to expect so they know exactly where they're going at because this is a little bit more complicated than people actually uh, think it is. Uh, at the beginning, of course, it's going to be very, very simple. Whatever gear you're going to get, you're just going to basically slap it on if it's better than what you were having. Of course, throughout the journey, you're going to pick up these legendary effects, which if you look at uh, this particular website here, uh, d 4 built uh, .gg. I will leave the link uh, in the uh, YouTube uh, comments so you guys could go here to this page if you don't know about it. So for example, like, um, you know, there's all the legendary effects on uh, on the gears that you could put. So for example, like, it's a, I don't know, like, yeah, let's look at, wait, which one was it? This one, this one. So for example, each point of fury generated while the maximum fury grants X fortify. So I guess that's like a defensive uh, buff or whatever it was. I can't really remember all these things. But like you playing around with these things over here kind of like gives you an idea of like what to uh, basically uh, look forward to to maybe already have an idea of where you want to go with your character. For example, I'm going to be playing the... I'm going to start off with the Barbarian. Most likely I'll play the Rogue also, but I'm going to... Start off with the Barbarian. It was the class that I want to kind of like play, uh, that I always enjoyed playing uh, Diablos with. So, for example, when you look at the skills, of course, if you played the beta, you already know what to expect when it comes to the skill. But just in case, you know, you still want to like refresh your memory, you go to the site, you could go there and look at all the uh, all the skills. They're all there. So you basically create yourself a build. Um, one that I find very interesting is the Paragons, because Paragons this year are very very different than the Diablo 3 okay so this time around uh, there's actually uh, more to it okay and when I mean more to it there's actually more complexity to, to the game like um, this is something that people wanted and uh, again um, they always try to compare it to uh, Path of Exile uh, it's it's it, ge it gives the same like vibe but it's not exactly the same there's interesting things uh, throughout the Paragon levels because uh, for people that have been looking into it a little bit, you'll know that there's been different boards. Like every time you basically complete a board, uh, you go into another board, okay? And depending on these boards, you have what they're called um, legendary effects or whatever you want to call them. Notes. I do apologize for that. Uh, now, depending, there's even glyph sockets that you could put in. But in, in other words, there's particular things that are going to basically make your character extremely strong and it's way more complicated than it actually looks because you need particular stuff where you're going to need for example like um, in this particular moment for you to have 100 armor and 10 strength but basically if you uh, if you uh, basically choose this particular note you are going to get the 100 plus armor but for you to get the uh, bonus uh, another 100 armor requirements are met basically 200 armor you would have to have 160 willpower so there's there's things to be looked at to actually get a have a good understanding of like where to go okay um, at first people thought this was not going to be too complicated but the more we actually look to look into it um, yeah there's definitely going to be um, some like some playing around with this to actually get the best particular build. Uh, also, for example, like every time you pick one of these, the next one will be uh, more expensive in not more expensive, but you will require more stat to be able to get the bonus. And this is very, very important because for example, if you're going to be playing, for example, like me, I, I'm playing a, um, a barbarian class create a bill. I don't, I don't know what happened here, but I'm creating a barbarian class. So barbarians, of course, they're more focused on strength, 
but if you saw the note there, it, I was asking me for willpower. So that's very interesting because I don't expect my uh, particular uh, barbarian to have a lot of willpower, at least from my understanding of like, um, you know, building a barbarian. So, so you may have to like look into this to actually get more of an understanding how these things work. So I personally believe that for people that are really interested in Diablo 4 and are really like hyped for the game that's coming out next week, most likely looking into uh, this website would actually be a very good place to start. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't go too crazy on it because again, we don't know exactly what's going to happen when we get to the end game, how the gear is going to be like dropped and, and, and what kind of like stuff we're going to be getting. Like it, it's and also all the legendary things are not out and also this website we're not 100 certain that everything on this site is exactly how the game is going to be this is most likely uh, a good prediction or a good understanding of it i'm not exactly sure if this was 100 legit but it could be uh if it is it, at least it gives you that idea of like what to look forward to so anyways on this channel i will be uh uploading you know diablo 4 uh, content for sure because i'm going to be interested in playing the game uh quite a bit I've always been a fan of it, so uh, yeah. So look forward to seeing that some Diablo 4 um, videos, most likely some builds. If I figure out something cool, um, you know, like best weapons, best this stuff like that, you know. So I will be focusing more on the barbarian at the beginning because that's just my, you know, preference of classes that I always enjoyed playing in Diablo. I'm not someone that basically uh, plays the uh, meta of like for example like which class is the uh the best class to play i play the class that i like to play uh, i don't really care too much about the leaderboards and stuff like that i heard first of all there there aren't going to be any leaderboards at the beginning of the game so doesn't really care i'm going to have time to get to play different classes different specs and stuff like that i want to play the game and i want to enjoy myself as i play the game and i want to play with a character that i like i don't really care if people think it's uh underpowered overpowered i'll play what I enjoy and that's the way I'm gonna run my Diablo 4 account you know that's I've, I've I've always played Diablo in that particular way so hopefully you guys are gonna enjoy the videos that are gonna be coming up the game does come out for the ones that pre-order it on June 1st it does say June 2nd but it's actually June 1st from my understanding this is a mistake but either way we're gonna be uh, uploading more videos of uh, the upcoming weeks so hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you guys in the next one have a good day guys bye bye